here is Dashley Lace Unit number two. And I got this in 2T slash copper. And I just want to show you the inside of the cap construction. It does come with a Swiss lace with only a Swiss lace parting and air to air lace. And this is how the parting looks. So I feel like the parting is pretty good, but if you want to do some customization, you definitely can do that. So I am about to go ahead and put this on and slay it. Hello y'all, this is your girl Monique Nicole and a welcome back to my channel. If you don't know who I am, make sure you stop what you're doing and you press that subscribe button and get to know me. So today I am reviewing the Sensational Dashley um, Unit Lace number two in the color T2 slash copper. Now I know I showed y'all the um, inside of the cap construction. But I forgot to show y'all like the combs. So there is one on the left, one on the right, and one in the back with two adjustable straps. Very standard cap construction, and it does fit kind of snug, but it can be big head friendly if you adjust the straps. So, y'all, oh my goodness. I feel like I'm the mermaid. Like, I feel like, you know. <laughs> Like your girl need a seashell bra on. Like this wig is so pretty. So I do want to let y'all know I am going to be reviewing the whole Dashley Lace Unit line. All the way from 1 through 7. I feel like I've already reviewed number 3. But I'll make sure once I have them all up. I'll make sure I put the, all the links to those reviews in the description box below. Well this is Lace Unit number 2. So this is how the style looks. Very pretty middle part. Um, and it comes in a range of different colors, but I wanted to go for this color because I don't really review uh, a bronze copper color. And if you're also wondering, like a copper color is also like the same color as uh, 350. So that's a little quick wig tip for you. So I just want to give you, oh my goodness, my review on this wig. So let me get down to the nitty gritty. So. All I did was cut the lace. I didn't do anything super special. I didn't even cut the baby hairs, but you can if you want to. The baby hairs are kind of long, so you can take some shears and you can actually just, you know, do like this. Just to make them look a little more natural like I did it. So, it does come with a deep middle part. I didn't do any plucking, but you can if you want to. What I did to actually make my parting more pronounced is I used my True Match L'Oreal um, Super Blendable Powder. And this is in the color C7 because I do use their C7 foundation. However, this powder is a little too dark. So I do use it on my lace wigs and it seems to match absolutely perfect. So I'm just going to put a little bit on here just to show you. Um, like that's literally all I did and now you can't even detect the lace unless my ring light is actually picking up the truth because these ring lights ain't no joke. So the hair as I was brushing it, I did receive some shedding. I don't know if it's because if maybe I cut some of my hair while I was, you know, cutting the lace or if it is in a way if it does shed. Now this wig was very inexpensive. It was like around $20 and I will make sure that I put the link to purchase this wig in the description box below. So I do want to show y'all how much shedding that I did receive. Um, it was quite a bit. But to me, it wasn't really like too alarming. I don't feel like really shedding is really that too much alarming because it is synthetic wig. It is stitched in. If you do use tension on the wig, you are going to pull out hairs. But as far as any falling on my clothes, no, just only in the brush. So it could be the way how I was brushing it. Now, the hair is like a light like yaki texture but it's a little bit more on the silky side so i do like this look because it feels like it has like a bundled kind of texture to it now the ends you know i feel like probably will get a little tangled because um it is long hair and as my fingers was running through it you know i had a couple little snags but nothing like like a little finger covering cannot 
fix it does come with a nice dark root as you can see and the luster on this is very pretty it's very healthy so i don't think i will put any dry shampoo on it because i just feel like it just looks fresh. It looks brand new. It looks oil sheen. It looks like I got my hair done at the shop or I made me like a nice closure wig. And I feel like this wig is definitely great for like beginners who want to like it and like the whole wig game. It's very inexpensive. All you do is cut the lace. It comes with baby hairs and you really don't have to do that much to it to really you know make sure that this wig is slave it is a little bumpy right here but it is brand new so you can use like a flat iron or you can turn the wig inside i want a mannequin to make the top more flat now with this i do want to say and this is just probably my preference um when it comes to like middle parts you know <gasps> i'm a little forehead cautious but also sometimes like the layering in the front can seem like a bit too heavy. So I feel like maybe you should take some shears and just like, you know, do like this. Just to give it like more layers in the front to frame your face. Now, you know... Now, I'm not the best with shares. I'm not the best at cutting. Y'all already know that. However, as, as I was doing some of the layering, it's framing my face um, a lot more than how it was because the sides were just a bit too heavy for me. So that was just like really like the only con that I have. Other than that, this wig is very pretty. And I would just say just go in. It's a preference. You really can just skip this step altogether. But to me, I feel like, you know, I want to, like, go in and just make some layers. So that's all I'm going to do before I get too, a little too happy, you know, with the, with the shaver. But I think it's a big difference. You see, the layers are coming in a little more, and my face is framing. So that's just, like, a little tidbit tip that you can use when you do get this yet um get this wig but i feel like this is a must like purchase definitely get this in your collection if not this color definitely this style because it could be like an everyday work wig and i feel like i'm going to save this wig for the fall because it's a beautiful transition color so i am going to give y'all a 360 so this is how it looks all in the front this is how it looks on the right side now this is how it looks all in the back. This is how it looks on the left side. And once again, this is how it looks all in the front. Now I do wanna show y'all like, if y'all do not like a middle part, um, you can always, oop, you can always judge it. I forgot about these uh, cones, y'all. These cones. So I'm gonna do it like that. Now I could like switch my wig and um you know I can make it like a side part. So this is how it looks as a side part if you're not really filling the middle part. You can, let me judge that a little one back. So it's all about preference. And you have versatility with the style. So let me know what y'all think in the comment section below. Let me know if you like the middle part. Let me know if you like the side part. Let me know if you got this wig. But like I say at the end of all of my videos, make sure you say video. Uh, make sure you stay beautiful. Make sure you check out my next slay. Okay, and make sure you check out the other line of units in the sensational dashly line in the below. But until then.